Carowin Co. presents a weekly scripture. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me for another brief moment in God's Word. There are a lot of stories about man's betrayal and God's punishments in the Bible. Perhaps the most popular ones are the Genesis Flood, the Plagues of Egypt, the Easter story, and the story of we have the Judgment Day in Revelation. But today I would like to focus on a lesser known story. The story of Samson. And that story can be found in... The Book of Judges. Judges is in the um, Old Testament and the Old Covenant, by the way. Though no one knows who wrote it. There are conflicting reports and no one knows for sure. But this just seems to be a random story. Now, technically the story, the entire story of Samson, goes from chapter 13 to chapter 16. I believe Samson to be the original strongman. Now, throughout the chapters, I for one saw inspiration for Romeo and Juliet. And perhaps Samson himself is what inspired your... Some of the great cartoon legends of our time, such as He-Man, and, and possibly even the Incredible Hulk himself. However, there is also possible inspiration for an iconic scene in Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Specifically, the scene where Quasimodo streams against the chains and tears down the pillars. Thus freeing himself and allowing him to, himself to free Esmeralda. And those verses are Judges chapter 16 verses... Twenty-eight through thirty. Now, in the original children's book, he mentioned how Samson got his incredible strength from his long hair. And the way the children's tale portrayed it, if he ever got it cut, like, say, Rapunzel, he would lose his strength. However, since he is not the one who cut his hair in the, or in the story, but someone else cut it so that he would lose his strength, he asked God to give him his strength back, his hair instantly grew back, like, and he gained his strength to commit the act we're about to see here. Yep. Now, in this story, Samson is the king of this realm. Um, and he has been betrayed a few times. Basically, he's the big strong guy, no one wants to mess with him sort of thing. So you take away his strength, you take away his power. However, the story of Judge, Judges tells us that while someone else did cut his hair, when he asked for his strength back, while God did grant it to him, he did not grow out his hair. So, Judges chapter 16, verses 28 through 30. Samson has been, been uh, has had his hair cut, he's been knocked out, he's been blinded, and he's been chained to pillars at the t at the enemy's temple. Judges chapter 16 verses 28 through 30. And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember me. I pray thee and strengthen me. I pray thee only this once, O God, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistines for my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle, middle pillars upon which the house stood, and on which, he, and on which it was borne up, of the one with his right hand, and of the other with his left. And Samson said, Let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself with all his might, and the house fell upon the lords and upon all the people that were therein. So the dead which he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. Now you may have heard the term Philistine before. Yeah, the idea of referring to someone who has basically portrayed whatever or, um, artistic thing they were supposed to be a master of. I most commonly hear it referring to food. 
like um, someone cooks a five star meal and someone someone simply turns it away because it's yucky. It doesn't smell right. It doesn't taste right. They haven't, they haven't even tried it. And so the proud chef calls them a philistine. That's where this comes from. Philistines were evil, and Samson. God gave Samson the strength to take them out. Well, I guess that's all good for the day. So until next week, thank you for your time. Ask the Savior to help you, come for strengthen and keep you. He is willing to aid you. He will carry you.